This world hides secrets in shadows, places so remote, so alien, that they might as well belong to another planet. People searched for Atlantis or El Dorado for centuries. According to his sources, El Dorado sits on the shores of a river deep in the Amazon rainforest. But maybe we were looking in the wrong places, deep underground beneath glaciers, in forgotten mountains or sealed caves, lie hidden realms untouched by human hands. The bats are way, way up at the top there. That's where they roost in their thousands. These are not myths or legends, but real lost worlds, sealed off, toxic, ancient, or simply too dangerous for us to explore. From venomous caves to boiling sea vents. And I'm one of the few people in the world who's been lucky enough to visit many of the most beautiful hydrothermal vents around the world. These landscapes challenge what we thought we knew about Earth, and we're just beginning to open their doors. Movil Cave, Romania. Just a few miles from the Black Sea, beneath the surface of Romania, lies a place that feels like another planet. Movil Cave isn't just underground, it's locked away from the surface world in every possible way. No sunlight has ever touched its stone walls, and no fresh air flows through its narrow veins. And yet, it's alive. In 1986, workers accidentally opened this hidden world while digging near Mangalia. What scientists discovered inside was shocking. Dozens of creatures thriving in what should be a lifeless void. The cave is toxic to humans. It reeks of sulfur and ammonia. The oxygen levels are dangerously low. Without special gear, you wouldn't last long. Yet more than 40 species have adapted to survive. Pale spiders, eyeless worms, and translucent scorpions crawl through the shadows. These creatures don't rely on photosynthesis. Instead, they survive through chemosynthesis, pulling energy from the cave's toxic gases. Researchers must be lowered by rope through a narrow 65-foot shaft to get inside. Less than 100 people have ever entered, and for good reason. The air is so foul that if breathed unprotected, it can damage organs. Microbiologist Rich Bowden once described the experience. The water smells like rotting eggs and burnt rubber. That stench? Hydrogen sulfide is the same gas that powers life in this bizarre ecosystem. Mobile Cave isn't just unexplored. It's sealed in time, untouched by the sun, and hostile to nearly everything above. It's Earth's alien world just beneath our feet. Lake Vostok, Antarctica. In the heart of Antarctica, beneath a blinding white sheet of ancient ice, hides a secret that's been locked away for half a million years. It's called Lake Vostok. Now, it's one of the world's largest lakes, but the chances are you've never heard of it. Lake Vostok lies two and a half miles beneath the ice of Antarctica. A massive, liquid freshwater lake buried over two miles beneath the surface of the East Antarctic ice sheet. For centuries, no one even knew it was there. It wasn't until satellite radar readings in the 1990s that scientists realized something huge was trapped below. The idea of liquid water under all that ice seemed impossible. But in 2012, Russian researchers finally drilled through more than 13,000 feet of solid ice. When they reached the lake, pressurized water surged through the borehole, carrying secrets from another time. Unfortunately, the first sample was contaminated by kerosene and Freon used during the drilling. But in 2015, a second attempt brought back a cleaner result, which amazed the world. Microbial life unlike anything seen on the surface, organisms that may have lived in isolation for over 400,000 years. Lake Vostok is not small. It stretches nearly 160 miles in length. Its depths may harbor unique ecosystems untouched by sunlight and surface weather. If larger life forms exist there, they've evolved in total darkness, extreme pressure, and cold. We've only scratched the surface, literally. No human has ever entered the lake, which is a forbidden, frozen ocean beneath our feet. What's down there remains one of the greatest mysteries in Earth's deep past and perhaps its alien future. Sun Dung Cave, Vietnam. Deep within the emerald jungles of central Vietnam lies an entrance to something surreal. It looks like a scar in the earth, dark, wide, and breathing mist. This is Sun Dung Cave, the largest known cave passage in the world. And until just a few years ago, 
the world had no idea it existed. In 1991, a local man named Ho Khan found the entrance while cutting wood. But the roar of wind and rushing water inside frightened him away. The cave remained unexplored for nearly two decades. Then, in 2009, the British Cave Research Association descended into the darkness. What they uncovered wasn't just a cave, but a lost world. Sundung is vast beyond imagination. Its ceiling towers 500 feet above the ground, and the main chamber stretches over three miles. Clouds form inside. Entire forests grow where sunlight pierces collapsed ceilings. Rivers wind through the cave's belly. Stalagmites are as tall as buildings, rising from the floor like ancient towers. But even paradise has walls. The expedition was halted by a 200-foot calcite cliff, the Great Wall of Vietnam. Only a few have ever climbed past it. Today, only a limited number of permits are issued each year to adventurous tourists. The trek is grueling, and tickets cost thousands. During monsoon season, the cave floods and disappears again into secrecy. Sundung isn't just big, it feels alive. Stepping inside is like entering a prehistoric cathedral built by time itself, massive, echoing, and untamed. Bosavi Crater, Papua New Guinea. High on the Great Papuan Plateau, in one of the most remote corners of Papua New Guinea, a collapsed volcano hides a secret. From above, it looks like a giant bowl carved into the jungle. This is the Bosavi Crater, once a roaring volcano, now a rainforest sealed off from the outside world. It wasn't until 2009 that a team of scientists, with the help of local guides, dared to descend into this natural fortress. What they discovered felt like stepping into another dimension. Over 40 previously unknown species of animals were found. Frogs that had never been seen before, giant rats the size of cats, and even tiny marsupials that had evolved in complete isolation. The crater is so deep and steep that helicopters can't always get in. Researchers often have to hike for days, then camp inside for weeks, waiting for the weather to allow extraction. The environment is brutal, hot, wet, and unrelenting. But the rewards are unmatched. Indigenous communities near the area believe the crater is dangerous, even sacred. Few dare approach it. And perhaps that's what saved it. This lost world was never meant to be found easily. It's one of the last untouched places on Earth a pocket of prehistoric life that continues to thrive without us, even despite us. Sima Humboldt and Sima Martel, Venezuela. High in the sky, on a flat-topped mountain cloaked in mist, two holes yawn open like gateways to another world. This is Quero Sarisariñama, deep in Venezuela's Jawa Sarisariñama National Park. At first glance, the mountain seems like a relic from a fantasy novel but what lies within it defies explanation. The sinkholes, Sima Humboldt and Sima Martel, are massive. Each plunges over 1,000 feet into the earth. But it's not just their depth that stuns scientists, it's what's inside. At the bottom of these vertical caverns, isolated ecosystems have taken root. Unique plant life, strange insects, and conditions unlike elsewhere exist here, untouched for millions of years. Local Yaquana tribes speak of spirits living in the mountain, with eerie tales of voices echoing through the holes. They believe the mountain is alive, dangerous, even cursed. For decades, no one dared approach. Then, in 1974, explorers descended into the darkness. They found lush forests growing in the base of the holes, green worlds hidden inside stone. And even today, access is extremely restricted. Only scientists and authorized teams are allowed near, and even then, only under strict conditions. Sima Humboldt and Sima Martel remain locked away in the clouds, a hidden Eden on a mountaintop, whispering secrets from the deep. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. East Scotia Ridge, South Atlantic. Beneath the crushing black of the deep ocean, where sunlight has never reached, life can burn without fire. Off the southern coast of South America, near Antarctica, lies the East Scotia Ridge, 
an undersea rift where Earth's tectonic plates tear apart. A hidden world boils in darkness at 8,000 feet below sea level. The temperatures around the hydrothermal vents can spike to over 700 degree fis. It's like a deep sea inferno. And yet, in this alien pressure cooker, life thrives. In 2010, researchers stumbled upon strange creatures clinging to the hot rocks, ghostly pale octopuses, limpets, and barnacles. A new type of yeti crab was found too, furry and white and adapted to the extreme heat. The vents release chemicals instead of light, and these bizarre beings survive through chemosynthesis, similar to creatures in Mobile Cave. There are no coral reefs, no colorful fish, just pale, spectral creatures living in complete darkness in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. It's a place where nature writes its own rules. Scientists are stunned by how little we know about these ecosystems. Cindy Van Dover, a leading marine biologist, once said, it's remarkable that in the 21st century, we still don't know what lives on our planet. Down here, the laws of biology bend, and mystery reigns in the heat and dark. Palawan Highlands, Philippines. Hidden in the shadowed jungles of the Philippines, the Palawan Highlands rise like a forgotten corner of paradise, remote, humid, and teeming with secrets. This island chain has long been shrouded in mystery, with rumors of undiscovered creatures and plants whispered by those who brave its interior. In 2007, a team of botanists ventured into a rarely touched corner of Palawan. What they found felt almost fictional. Glowing blue mushrooms, pink ferns, and a carnivorous pitcher plant big enough to swallow rats and possibly monkeys. These weren't legends. These were real species that science had never seen before. The deeper you go, the stranger it gets. Purple crabs that look like candy-colored creatures from a fairy tale. Scruffy wild pigs with beards thicker than most men. And the Palawan water monitor is a lizard that can grow up to seven feet long and slither through rivers like a reborn dinosaur. It turns out many species thought extinct had simply been hiding. The highlands had kept them safe, locked away in lush forests and cliffs. With each expedition, new life is cataloged, but much of the region remains unexplored, too dense and dangerous for casual study. In Palawan, the earth feels young again, untamed, vibrant, and just waiting to reveal what it's been hiding all this time. Mount Roraima, Venezuela. Rising like a giant stone ship from the jungle floor, Mount Roraima pierces the clouds with walls so sheer they seem carved by gods. Located at the border of Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana, this ancient plateau stands over 9,000 feet tall, its summit veiled in mist and mystery. To the native people of the Gran Sabana, Mount Roraima isn't just a mountain, it's a sacred relic, the stump of a once mighty tree that held the fruits of the world. The mythology is rich, but the reality is just as staggering. The summit is a flat, otherworldly landscape of quartz fields, black rock towers, and plants that grow nowhere else on Earth. Rain falls nearly every day, pooling into natural basins. Some of these are so deep they may never have been touched. For centuries, it was nearly unreachable. The sheer cliffs prevented even the most daring climbers. Only recently has a trail allowed limited tourist access, but even then, you only reach a fraction of its surface. It's said that Roraima inspired Arthur Conan Doyle's The Lost World. Standing on its fog-draped summit, it's easy to see why. There's something primal here, untouched, isolated. The feeling that you're not just far from home, but far from time itself. On Mount Roraima, Earth's forgotten stories rise into the clouds. Melville Range, Australia. Tucked away in the northeastern edge of Australia, cloaked in mist and granite, lies a realm few have ever seen. The Melville Range isn't just remote, it's nearly impenetrable. Rugged boulder fields and thick rainforest make it one of the last wild frontiers. For years, it remained unexplored simply because no one could get there. Then, in 2013, scientists finally did. What they found was astonishing. In just a few days, they discovered three brand new species, creatures that had likely been evolving in isolation for millions of years. A leaf-tailed gecko that looked like moss-covered stone, a tiny frog hiding in the cracks between boulders, and a shade-loving skink that slithered through the mist like a shadow. 
how did they survive? A strange natural phenomenon helps explain it. The granite boulder fields create a microclimate, retaining moisture and protecting against wildfires. These cold and unmoving rocks have become the guardians of an ancient rainforest. This rainforest is unlike any other. The air is damp and silent. Plants stretch out in alien shapes, clinging to stone. The entire region feels like a lost pocket of earth before time. Very few humans have set foot here. No trails, no towns, just the raw beauty of a land that didn't want to be found. Melville Range remains one of the world's most secret gardens. Challenger Deep, Mariana Trench. In the vast Pacific Ocean, southeast of Guam, lies a place darker than night and deeper than human fear. It's called Challenger Deep, the lowest known point in Earth's seabed, nearly 36,000 feet beneath the surface. That's deeper than Mount Everest is tall. Down here, sunlight never reaches, pressure crushes like a thousand elephants, and cold cuts to the bone. Only a handful of people have dared descend into this abyss. In 2012, filmmaker James Cameron piloted a custom submersible into the depths. He didn't see colorful coral or great sea monsters. It was silence, silt, and strange, slow-moving life forms that barely looked alive. Each descent brings back more questions than answers. What lives at the bottom of the world? How do organisms survive in such pressure and darkness? Some creatures appear translucent, some bioluminescent, and others are entirely unknown to science. And yet, Challenger Deep remains largely untouched. It's not just hard to reach, it fights back. Malfunctions, failed missions, and sheer isolation keep most explorers away. But it beckons all the same. This trench is Earth's final frontier. A place where nature hides her most ancient secrets, perhaps things we're not meant to find just yet. It's not just unexplored, it's unknowable. We often imagine the unknown as something far away, on distant planets or buried in mythology. But the truth is, our planet still hides worlds we can barely comprehend. Earth is still writing stories we haven't read. From poisonous caves to bottomless trenches, from cloud-wrapped mountaintops to lava-borne craters. Each of these lost worlds reminds us how little we truly know. And maybe that's the most exciting part. Wonder isn't gone. It's just hiding, waiting, somewhere deep in the dark. If you think we've discovered everything, think again. The real adventures are still out there, waiting, watching, undisturbed.